Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Today we're talking about PRP, mesotherapy, and microneedling. Before we get started, do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and comment. Whatever comments are left, I promise I'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Let's go. Let's break down PRP, mesotherapy, and microneedling. Microneedling is just a technique that's used for PRP and mesotherapy. The concept of microneedling is based on the skin's natural ability to heal itself after it's suffered some type of minor physical damage. A good way to compare this concept is through physiotherapy or massage therapy. What they do is stimulate that muscle causing little minor injuries. And what that does is it stimulates your body to heal that area. And that's basically what you're doing with microtherapy is just causing little micro abrasions, stimulating your body's uh, natural resources to heal that area. Now there's three techniques used. A provider can go by hand and they'll take a syringe with a needle and they'll inject manually. This can take a little longer. However, they may have a little bit more control this way. Second is a meso gun, an actual gun where they put the syringe with the needle into it and it's accurately injected into the skin anywhere from two millimeters all the way to 12 millimeters deep. And providers use that because it's much quicker. Now the last technique used, which is my personal favorite, is with something called the meso pen. This is completely different. The others inject a solution into the skin with a needle. This is simply multiple needles at the end of the pen. And it's injecting your skin multiple times rapidly to cause almost like an aeration technique. You're just opening up the pores, not causing any real damage, but just enough to braise the skin. PRP is an abbreviation for platelet-rich plasma. Why is that important? Well, platelets are well known for their clotting factor, but you may not know that platelets also contain hundreds of proteins called growth hormone. And growth hormone are incredible for healing. So the idea is either you inject the PRP directly into the skin at roughly a subdermal level, or you make micro abrasions opening up the pores and massaging the PRP into the skin, stimulating collagen synthesis with concentrated doses of growth hormone. First, your provider will numb the face using a medical grade analgesic. While it's waiting to take effect, the provider will draw up some blood from you. It's usually only one vial and it's only about 10 cc's or 10 mils. They'll place that into a centrifuge machine, which spins it for eight minutes that separates the PRP from the red blood cells. Once the 30 minutes have passed, the provider will wash off the anesthetic and then disinfect the face. Then the provider will drop the PRP and he'll either inject it into the face using a manual technique or the meso gun, or he'll massage it into the face while abrasing the skin with the meso pen. Depending on the area treated and the technique used, you can expect anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes for an entire treatment. PRP has actually been used for the last 10 years for sports medicine purposes. What they're doing is they're treating arthritis, major tendon injuries, major muscle injuries by directly injecting PRP into those areas. Skin rejuvenation, and that can be on the face, neck, décolleté, which is the chest region here, or hands, um, acne scars, uneven skin tone, stretch marks, and dark circles under the eyes. The treatment schedule usually follows one treatment every two months for three treatments. After that, maintenance therapy is once every three months. Now, mesotherapy is something that was invented by a French physician named Dr. Michel Pasteur in 1952. And what this is, is you're injecting natural ingredients into the skin instead of PRP. And the ingredients can range from enzymes, vitamins, minerals, and hyaluronic acid. Some providers even combine mesotherapy products with PRP to enhance the result. Now, other than the products that are injected into the skin, the only difference between PRP and mesotherapy is that mesotherapy does not use a meso pen. It has to inject either by hand or using the meso gun, the product into the dermal or subdermal layer. I think if you're more on the squeamish side with regards to blood, then you may want to go on the side of mesotherapy. However, if you like something a little more natural, you know exactly what you're getting uh, because you're injecting basically your own products back into your own skin, uh, then you may want to go on the side of PRP. I think that microneedling through either PRP or mesotherapy is an excellent complement to your skin regime. 
I mean, we have Botox that addresses the wrinkles, we have fillers that address facial contouring and structure, and now you have something to give you that perfect complexion. I've only had one treatment and it was done with the Meso Pen mixed with PRP. And I have to admit, after a couple of days, my skin did look uh, more radiant and the uh, skin tone looked a little more even. Um, I'm looking forward to doing the other two treatments. All right, guys, that's it for me this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you've learned a few things. I'll be back next week.